Hey guys, you're here with Denitra, and I've got a digital delights tutorial for you today. Um, we're going to do something really simple, and I hope it comes together really quickly, um, really nice, because I just kind of threw together some measurements. Um, here's the image that we're going to use today. Um, don't look too closely at my coloring, you guys. It's horrible, um, but I'm really trying to um, hurry up. It's kind of late, so um, I just kind of rushed it. Um, so please excuse the coloring, but she's so cute. Oh, she's in a pumpkin. How cute is that? Okay, and this is from Digital Delights. So um, we're going to be making like um, a booklet, something for um, the kids. Um, if you don't like to give uh, too much candy around Halloween time, you could make a couple of these and um, give these out. Um, it's really easy. So. For the booklet measurements, you need um, eight and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then you just fold it in half. And then for the papers inside, which is just plain copy paper, what I use, um, these need to be three and seven eighths by um, five and seven eighths. Okay, and they fit um, nicely on the inside. Um, you're going to need your crocodile. So kind of get them centered in there. Um, I would I nudge it up to the fold here. Okay. Um, you could make it thicker than this, but I, I'm just gonna keep it that thick. Um, thin. Um, so a crop doll should be um punch your holes uh, maybe a quarter of an inch in. Um, you could do it, you know, further down in the middle or towards the top. Um, I'm gonna do three. I'm just going to eyeball um, where to place these. And then one in the middle. Try to get it in the middle. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and set your eyelids. I'm a little bit off camera, you guys, so sorry. I probably got it too close. Pull it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then one more. So there is the simple booklet. Okay. Very easy, guys. Okay, and now we're going to decorate it. Okay, I've got this a piece of cardstock um, that measures, oh, I forgot this measurement. Let's see. It's 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. And um, I am going to hear it right over the holes because it, it doesn't really matter um, if if you adhere it over your um, eyelids. And then I ran it through a Tim Holtz color book folder. I've got my hot glue off to the side, so I um, can't. I'm using my hot glue, so. And it's off to the side. Did I say that twice? <laughs> like I said, it's late. <laughs> okay. So there we go. And then this paper is from Making Memories um, Autumn Splendor. And I've had it since last year, but I only used a couple pieces of it. And um, this measures 1 by 3 and 7 eighths. I'm just going to put um, one at the bottom. There. Now, of course, your decorations can be however you want it. You know, you can make it more spooky, or mine is more fall themed um, than Halloween themed. So, um, because fall is in now, and it's got the leaves and the pretty fall colors, and I just wanted to um, show some of that. And um, this piece measures two and 
two and three fourths by three and three fourths. Now this um, mat would depend on how big or how small your image is. So um, that would vary by um, how big you want it or how small. Okay. So I'm gonna layer these together. Put her right there in the middle. Got some foam tape. Got stuff sticking to it. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. You can make these for any occasion too, you guys. Christmas is coming up. And these would be really cute. You could package it together with um, a pencil or a little pen and um, give them out. It'd be super cute. Okay. I've got these fall leaves here from IamRoses.com. And um, you can go pick these up. Um, I like to twirl these little things. And I'll just place these and yeah, like that. that's pretty cute. Let's go ahead and adhere these together. Hot glue is very inexpensive, you guys, so <laughs> I've been using a lot lately. Okay, there's some leaves. I'm going to put one down here. So there you go. So you can see. Super cute. And kids can write in it and keep notes or draw or whatever. You can even add watercolor pa paper. And um, you can use it for sketches or whatever you like. So hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys try it. Thanks for watching. See you later.